three minutes to my colleague, Dr. Gingri of Georgia. Gentleman from Georgia is recognized for three minutes. Madam Speaker, I thank the gentleman from Florida for yielding. I do rise in very strong support of this rule, as well as the underlying bill, H.R. 3, the No Taxpayer Funding for Abortion Act. I would also like to commend our colleague from New Jersey, Representative Chris Smith, for his leadership on this legislation and his steadfast pro-life stance throughout his tenure in Congress. As a practicing OBGYN physician for nearly 30 years, I believe that all life is sacred. The issue of abortion is a very personal issue for me, as it is for many people across the country and many members of this body. However, however that is not why we are on the House floor today considering this legislation. Instead, we are here to answer one simple question. Should American tax dollars be used to fund abortions? When an elective choice can decide life and death, should the federal government be allowed to use tax dollars to pay for that choice? Madam Speaker, H.R. 3 is a bill that seeks to set right what the last Congress got wrong, to ensure that abortions are not funded by taxpayer dollars. At its very base level, H.R. 3 simply codifies the Hyde Amendment, which has been enacted in some form or another as an appropriation rider since fiscal year 1976. Through this legislation today, we will make permanent the prohibition on federal funding for abortions, thereby eliminating the inherent vulnerability that riders like the Hyde Amendment face as part of the annual appropriation process. Furthermore, H.R. 3 codifies the Hyde Dr. Dave Weldon conscience clause that has protected health care providers from discrimination by state and local governments for simply refusing to provide, to pay for, or even refer for abortion. So additionally, H.R. 3 will allow those health care providers who choose not to perform abortions legal recourse if they face overt discrimination, as they often do. Madam Speaker, H.R. 3 also prevents federal funds being used for tax credits that subsidize health insurance coverage that includes elective abortion through the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, so-called Obamacare. One of the many problems with this law, Obamacare, is that there's no statutory language prohibiting, prohibiting premium, premium assistance from being used for abortions despite many efforts of House and Senate Republicans during the last Congress. H.R. 3 provides the assurance that our taxpayer dollars will not be used in any form of federal subsidies for abortion coverage. So, Madam Speaker, as a father and an OBGYN physician who has delivered over 5,000 babies, I will be voting to ensure that the federal government does not use taxpayer dollars for any elective abortion. I ask all my colleagues to support this rule, uh, as well as the underlying bill, H.R. 3. And with that, Madam Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time, and I thank the gentleman for yielding. The gentlelady from New York. <clears throat> 